All right, so I got my logo in the corner. This is probably going to go on YouTube. I need to remember VODs aren't there for 60 days like they used to be, so I had a lot of stuff I was going to make into a video yesterday, and it's not there. Right, so we got Airdorf, Jesse Cox, and there's a Molly Moon game. I know Trevor Henderson was involved, which is just crazy to think. This is based on a series of viral TikToks and tweets. Check, check. That's my audio. Yeah, we're good. My brother went missing a few days ago. I hope whoever lives here can help me find him. Okay, same settings. Oh, here's somebody comes hey. now. Oh, shit. Hey. Have you seen my brother? Drag items to and from the inventory to collect or use them. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's that I? Inspect? Let me tell them you're here. Okay. You're <laughs> so weird. Uh, this is, this is like inspect, right? Uh oh, no, it's not. I don't know what that is. Screwdriver. Okay, so now I have a screwdriver. This is bizarre. Uh, let's see. Some sort of protein drink. Chicken breasts. Oh, so we got like a workout eater. I see some vegetables. And frozen water bottle and a frozen Coke. When you get a Coke right before it's at that point, right before it's about to puff out and explode, delicious. So we got literally nothing here. That just takes me back. Okay. Oh. Door's locked. Okay. Oh, can I use this? Okay, I got a drag. Okay. Can I use that to jimmy the lock? I don't know why I thought I could. I've never done that. Okay. And the hinges are on the other side. Great. No! They're in the basement. Follow me. In the basement? Okay. Go ahead. I'll meet you down there. Don't worry. I'll call the sheriff. Okay. Oh, I just have to go. Stab her with the... That, no? Okay. Man, I don't... I can't go back. I wonder if those stairs are meant to be Freddy Krueger colored, or if I'm just... Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh. Okay, if I see anything that can be used with a screwdriver. Items can't. Greetings. We've been expecting you. Uh what okay, have you see my brother? What are you doing down here? This guy knows where my brother is, clearly. Or maybe that is my brother. Maybe he turned into that thing. What are you doing down here? of individuals would you like to join us they might know something about my brother I can join and earn their trust I was not expecting a secret society okay or fraternity whatever it might be they might know something about my brother I could join and earn their trust okay yes I As our newest member, you'll have to perform the prayer. Not gonna help me at all. Alright. Trace the outline on the floor. Oh, this is one of those games where you have to do it all in one shot, is that it? Oh my god, it's like that damn maze when I was a kid. Well, I was in, I was in college, but you know. Actually, I was in high school. Is that what this is? Like the maze? I think that way maze was made in Flash because it doesn't even exist anymore. Any moment now, Linda Blair's face is going to pop up and I'm going to shit myself live on the internet. I don't know why I'm just assuming that I can't pick up 
my marker paintbrush oh, no okay no now you need to make a sacrifice uh, I've eaten a lot of pork in my lifetime, but this is not my favorite. Um, did it work? Okay. You did it. You did it wrong. Oh, uh oh. Uh, Time to go. Oh, oh, whoa. Am I in the dryer? What the shit am I playing? Oh, okay. So I can restart from checkpoint. Nice. Wait. I just realized there's no time limit. Okay. I assume. What's on that bed? Oh, I can't. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, she's got bloodhound DNA. She found me again. That was too close. I need to find a way out of here. Oh, she didn't find me. Better. Oh, wait. Forward? Where does that even lead? Oh, I'm in the shower now. Okay, just like. I guess now I'm just choosing a route that I haven't chosen before. What's up, ship? How's it going? Now, ah! I came in through the kitchen, but I can't go back exactly where I was. Oh, man bathroom. Oh, I did not go in this direction. Oh, I'm new. Well, thanks, ship. I appreciate it. Got yeah. technically got in the mail yesterday, but it came after dark, so I was like, fuck it. I was just checking the morning. Uh, this ending three of three, you escape to where? I dug that. It's a little odd, but I dig it. So this is a somnus experiment. Apparently it's based on the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta. I've never gotten to creepypastas, but that is what it's inspired by. This is from Vetus Games. Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta. Russian researchers late 40s get five people awake for 15 days using experimental gas-based stimulant. Sweet. I like to use the color. Did I turn it off or the hem on its own? Oh, I may regret doing that. It's 
So am I going back? That's the only path I have. Can't go that way. Uh. Can I go through this door? Maybe there was something down there I missed. Okay. Oh, has that been open this whole time? Wait. That's not where I came from, was it? Oh. After five days without sleep, the paranoia started to kick in. The test subjects stopped talking to each other. They whispered to us. Okay, I don't know if I'm being seen. I ran OBS as administrator. It's running a little smooth. I think it looked fine on y'all's side, but... My OBS is lagging hard and I got nervous. Now it's running butter smooth. Alright, so. See, I think that's where I was a minute ago. Oh, this is brand new. All these corners. What are those things? Is that like the thing put on gas? Music cut out. Or the violin or whatever that was. Oh, it's always a basement. I don't see the radio thing, but there is a bed with pictures on the wall. Okay, so that's not where I sleep. this coming from the surface ready but you didn't to swallow you all until there's nothing but at that moment is everything keep your eyes open and don't fall okay so what is that Weren't making any sounds either, but we knew they were in 
inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. First, I'm about to fall asleep. Come on. No crouch, okay. We got another one. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. And we had a whisper. We no longer want to be freed. Use me. What is that thing? Oh, hell. Am I going the right way? That's... Mm, calling that running is a little generous. I'm surprised I've remembered this route so far. I'm sure that's going to change. is where I came from. So where do I go? There's no other routes to take. I don't know what. I'm going right back to where that thing was. Maybe I took the wrong turn whenever he... Appeared. Okay. Oh, I go through here because that door just opened. That makes a lot of sense. I guess. The test subject had his abdominal organs removed. The, the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. Right. They were not people anymore. They ate their own flesh. Oh. Oh, is that him right there? I must remain awake. Oh. Is that smoke or is it him just waiting for me? Not allowed to re enter. Red. 
Okay. Uh, I can't leave. Oh. I just got ragdolled by a man whose arms were tied down. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> well that was Insomnus Experiment. You can check out Vetus on Steam and Itch. He's got all kinds of stuff. And I dig it all. This is from Aaron Wise, D Zenith, and Adriano Silva. D Zenith slid into the DM synthesis. Apparently they're like text-based story adventure games. of you to join us this evening uh what's that who am i why i'm the tale keeper i keep a record of all the books in the library of the damned say why don't you help me fancy reading one of these tales i promise i won't tell <laughs> all right let's go left to right uh, well okay yeah, double click. What about this one? Freelance reporter goes to a quiet suburban neighborhood to investigate the disappearances of 13 people between 1963 and 1987. Despite the case being cold, it is about to get very, very warm. I mean, certain effects the players might find discomforting. Please stop playing immediately if these affect you. The game is intended to be played in one sitting. There are no checkpoints or save settings to prevent you from being locked into a particular ending. It's like a visual novel, I'm guessing. Seems to be in a small, seemingly ordinary suburban neighborhood. Stands a seemingly normal house. However, ugh, sorry, tongue tied. However, this seemingly normal house has developed an unsettling reputation. Looking at the house from outside appears unremarkable. Its neat garden and well-maintained facade contrasts with the rumors surrounding it. You said to knock on the door. A trembling woman answers, her eyes filled with despair. The woman invites you aside, revealing a home filled with family portraits and toys. I'll speed around the bush. Hello, my name is Emily. Pleased to meet you. What is yours? The old woman just smiles at you, her skin stretching uncomfortably to the corners of her face. I'm a freelance journalist reporting on missing people between 1963 and 1987. Welcome back, Shib. The old woman stares at you, a sense of dread fills you from head to toe. After a couple minutes of silence, she answers. My dear, that was so long ago, why bother bringing up the dead now? Some of the relatives never got closure. I want to give them that. Are you... Are you a relative? I assume I'm not, but I'm just going to say yes. I am related to one of the missing people, yes, but that doesn't mean I am not seeking the truth for everyone. Oh, that one's over. It was like 10 minutes. You poor dear. No wonder you seem so upset. Let me fetch you some tea and we can discuss this further. The old woman shuffles out of the room and off into the kitchen. You can hear her tinkering around with appliances. Yeah, it was good. I should take a look around. Let's see. This thing's kind of moving, so let's see what this is all about. A doll's house, strange. It's a model of this house. The door has a small lock on it, and my hands are too big to fit through the window. Let's see, certain things are moving. So, yeah, we will eventually. Picture what appears to be two small children. When is their face removed? Why does this look familiar? So, the clock. It's not working. The hands will stop 2 and 7. So I'm guessing the hour hands 2. So that'd be 2.35. Oh! Woman turns straight to you seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, I frighten you, my dear. Yes, dear, ask me your questions. What's the motive? There's something I can't quite figure out if what people say is true. 
Then why? What's the motive? Why couldn't I possibly imagine a motive of what made someone kill 13 people? I'm just an old lady. I'm 13 people dead? I'm sorry to point this out, but I never mentioned they were dead. You did. Twice now, actually. Yeah, you must be confused here. We don't actually know that anyone is dead. Here, drink some tea while it's still hot. You drink the tea so as not to upset the old woman any further. After a few seconds, start to feel lightheaded. The room starts to fade out before you finally hit the floor. Should have took that tea. You awake feeling sick. The old woman must have drugged you. Looking around, you notice you're locked in some sort of cell made of stone with bars covering the door and a spot on the ceiling. Never drink the tea. You jump and grab the middle grate. As soon as you grab it, you slip, falling to the ground with one of the metal bars in hand. Oh, that's a plus. Oh, gotta get the bar. Oh, it's in my hand. Get a metal bar into the gap and pull with all your might. Iron door swings open. Step out into a dark hallway. It's hard to see, but you can hear the faint whispering. What's that to the whispers? Might be my family member. Oh. Oh shit. Heading toward the whispers was a bad idea. The old woman loops to the windows, shadow slashing your throat vertically, making you bleed out quicker. You were at the 14th. Oh damn. Probably should have saw that coming. All right, everyone, welcome back. I had to end stream very early that day, so now uh, a while later, I am back. Jonathan's son, John, is kidnapped in the middle of the night, and his father chases the people who took him to save the boy and find out why he was captured. Along the way, you'll uncover a web of secrets and plot twists that will challenge everything you thought you knew. It was a perfectly normal night, silent except for a slightly cold breeze. We were all fast asleep, undisturbed by the thunderous noise of last week's storm. From the depths of my slumber, I heard a window break and my son scream. My wife and I ran to his room and found the only broken window. John was gone. In despair, I jumped out the window and saw two men carrying him away. I ran screaming for my wife to call the police while I chased them towards the town lake and the tall bushes surrounding it. They have nowhere else to go. I'm sure of it. I'll save John. Oh, okay. Yeah, for some reason I can't completely full screen this, so hope that's cool. They're here somewhere, I'm sure of that, and this area is a dead end. I'll have to go look around. Oh, this has like a, it's like um, oh my god, the horror of Salazar House, which is in my YouTube history. Fantastic game. If you like point and click, give that one a shot. Let's see. I'm here somewhere. Oh, they're here somewhere. Of course, I'm here. I'm standing here. I'm sure of that, and this area is a dead end. I'll have to look around. The air is foggy and cold, but the sky is clear. Otherwise, I'd see nothing ahead of me. Oh. What is this? It looks like coal. It smells like smoke. The holes in it seem to be artificial, and the ground shows signs of damage. Oh, I didn't know you could... Okay. He came to me and said we can start already. And he'll plan something to get more people into it. Don't be scared now. He's he, ugh, tongue tied. He even said he's planning something to make it even better for us. Oh, oh, it was his plan to go even before the rain last week. We can just go ahead and trust that no one will interfere. Is this tall grass? It feels hard to get inside, they wouldn't be able to carry someone through it. Okay. There's some sort of animal there. That Those are human legs. Or what was what used to be human, I guess. It's carefully watching the lake, maybe hungry, waiting for a fish. Oh, I can click on it. Such weird shape. It's probably a dangerous predator. Yeah, let's... I think you're right about that. probably can't take on two guys and more than that will probably kill me but I can I can stall them until the police get here oh wait message 
It happened to us first. You know the pain. It makes your insides throb and burn like a cutting knife. I felt nausea for days. I felt like I wasn't me anymore. We felt the worst part and managed to hide it from our families. We can do it for a bit longer. I don't risk game. I'm sure they're beyond it. He has clothes need a key. Okay. I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh. Someone's there. A man? He does look to be... He doesn't look like the ones that took John. He seems to be in pain. He's got some item on him. He's alive completely. I don't take a deep breath. There's no use trying to talk to him. You can help the man. I hope the police get here soon. I don't care what happens to me as long as I can save John. Is this another piece of coal? Mysterious object. Looks like a piece of coal, but it's harder and heavy. Can't do anything with that currently. Okay. Is this some cult-related activity? Some crazy guys gathering in the woods to sacrifice innocents to things they hallucinated. A pile of, stone, ugh, pile of stones in the form of a small cave. The air vibrates near its entrance, and a foul smell comes out of it. I've seen the news almost daily. There's nothing like this going on around here. Why is this happening to us? Bro, I saw the rain last night. I was tired. Did he bring it to the lake? Did he actually do it? My wife, I think she can feel I'm hiding something. I'm not a good actor. We need to do it a week or less and try to get another guy into it. Okay, so I'm about to overlap with where I was, so let's go back. Wish I could see better. It's hard to find anything. What is this? Piece of mirror might be useful. Okay. Why would they bring John to this place? Why are those people after my son? They didn't have any vehicles. They can't be far. We can't let them know this. They would think we are mad or they could just end our lives. Avoid any online interaction and talk about it. We can trust the internet to keep our secrets safe. We wait for the next rain. The sound of it will keep things hidden. Ground is drying. There's no sign of blood anywhere. I still have a chance to save him. Okay, so. Okay. Yes, so I've been through that part. I've. Okay, so I've. I don't think I've been through this part. What we have? I can use iron pipe to hit something or someone. There we go. What worries me is the fact that I can't hear John. I couldn't hear him after leaving home. No screaming, no movement. Yeah, I think if I go straight down, that'll cover it. Wait, I don't hear any insects. I know it's slightly cold, but still. Hmm. Is there an area I haven't... Yeah, I still need a key. Where have I not been? Have I gone down these? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I haven't. Okay, let's go into the cave. Come on now. Do I click and drag? Oh, it's too dark inside. Okay, so I need a light of some sort. Or not. Let's <laughs> go. The pipe hit something dark. I've killed an, impos ugh, an impossible larva and took the item it held. And, oh, it's got another one of those heavy things. Hmm. Oh, wait. Do I... Can I give... Wait, where was that guy at? Up here? Yes. Hmm. Oh! I was just trying. I didn't think I would actually kill... He dropped a key. Okay. That was the item he had. Yes. Uh, this is going to be tough. Gate is open. I cannot... Proceed forward, though. Interesting. Okay, so I gotta deal with that alleged animal right here. Oh! 
Jonathan didn't survive the attack of a mysterious animal. John, his son, is still missing. Dang. All right, so, all right, so that I'm gonna get one inning per game because I'm. I think I'm gonna make this a three scary games video. If you're watching this, you already know. So let's go to the third. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. D Zenith. D Zenith. He was the one that did um, Bobo's Quest. And he also did a game called The Diner. I streamed it on Twitch, but I forgot since I'm not an affiliate anymore. Uh, my VOD got deleted before I downloaded it. Fun game, though. For, former de Whatever that title is. A young lady is walking home from a Halloween party at a local bar. However, you soon come to find out that this Halloween is one she'll never forget. Will you be able to solve the mystery? Oh, I just realized that skull follows my mouse. Okay. Surrounding the neighborhood killings and get our heroine home safe. It is a snowy Halloween evening. Here you are, sitting in a bar all on your own. Look around you, you see all kinds of people drinking, laughing, and dancing together. The only reason you really came here is to feel something. Not that it's working anyways. It's getting late, I feel drowsy, time to head home, you think to yourself. You slowly get up from your seat, Tipping the bartender as you go. Take care, hon. Happy Halloween. The bartender joyfully tells you on your way out. As you step outside the bar, the sharp cold breeze hits your skin. It feels as if blades of ice are being thrown at you all at once. You shiver, but quickly compose yourself. Cold as a bitch, ain't it? I mean, it's October for crying out loud. You look over your shoulder. It's the bouncer. He's braced against the wall, smoking a cigarette as he awkwardly stares you down. Yeah, tell me about it, you reply. You then both fall silent for a few seconds. I think I'm going to start going home, you mutter, breaking the awkward silence. The bouncer chuckles. On your own at this hour, miss? The bouncer then replied. He continues, with all due respect, lady, this, it isn't safe whatsoever out here. There have been numerous reports of missing women as of late, specifically around these parts. He's right. There have been quite the amount of gruesome murders and disappearances involving young women. He continues again. To make matters worse, you're all on your own. You sure you ain't anybody to walk with you? You ain't? He feels quite... He feels a bit pushy. However, you don't falter and sternly reply saying, I appreciate it, but I, I'll be fine. Thank you. The bouncer looks slightly concerned. He struggles to get the words out at first, but then hands you a small pocket knife saying, all right, well, at least take this pocket knife just to be safe. Absolutely accept the knife. You hesitate, but you take the pocket knife. Thank you, you mumble. You take care now, miss. The bouncer ends off with... You awkwardly smile, then slowly turn around and start walking the usual route home. After walking for a bit, you stop to look ahead. What's this about? You mumble to yourself. The road you normally take seems to be blocked off. It looks like something serious happened. There are tons of police units blocking the road. Looking the other way, there's a dark, dense path through the forest. An alternate route you sometimes take during the day. You're torn between going to the officers to ask what happened or just taking the road through the forest. I mean, they're armed, and I doubt one of them's a killer, so let's go to the officers. You slowly head into the direction of the scene. There is a lone officer patrolling the scene nearby. One officer with all this commotion? Okay. He turns and sees you, yelling with a stern voice, Howdy, ma'am. What can I do for you? You approach him, replying with, Excuse me, officer, but may I ask what happened here? The officer looks around, making sure his colleagues aren't around before then saying, I'm not allowed to, tongue tied. I'm not allowed to officially, I'm not officially allowed to disclose this information, ma'am, but there's been another murder. This makes it the 27th murder in the last two weeks. Your stomach drops, you freeze, and are left speechless. 27 murders? You think to yourself? The officer continues, and I have been brutally honest, and I have to be brutally honest with you, ma'am. Being out on your own is not the best idea either. Not after this. If you'd like, you can stay with us until we're done clearing the place. We can give you a ride home afterwards. The officer is extremely kind. This hospitality, hospitality makes you feel at ease. It's 6 a.m. right now. 
so my English isn't so good. <laughs> you don't really know what to do or say. Do you stay with the officer or head home? I'll stay consistent. Stay with the officers. I truly can't thank you enough for your kindness, sir. You say, tears welling in your eyes. The officer puts his hand on your shoulder, offering some comfort. That officer's a killer, isn't he? Is that it? No problem, ma'am. I'm just happy to help. You'll be all right. He then says, after the cleanup, the officer gives you a safe ride home, even sharing a few laughs along the way. Entering your house, you feel beyond relieved. Finally, you think to yourself. You put on the news. They're talking about the recent murder. The police haven't been able to solve the murders and arrest the killer. If he's the killer, he knows where she lives now. Your mood immediately changes for the worse, knowing that the killer is still out there somewhere. Claiming more innocent victims makes you sick to your stomach. Ending. The safe way home. <laughs> Well, congratulations, you've got ending A. Arguably the most safe ending there is. Unfortunately for you, and in turn for our protagonist, this isn't the actual ending that she went through. Although our brave heroine got home safely, the mysterious disappearances are still yet to be solved. The root of the killings lies somewhere else in wait. Maybe try a different route this time. You will now be sent back to the beginning. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I took the knife, I spoke to the police, same as before, we're going to take the road through the forest. And the next ending, I'm going to call it, uh, regardless. I, I was going to do just one ending, but that seemed a little too safe for a horror game. Nothing scary occurred. As much as you appreciate it, if you, you want to go home fast. I'm sorry, but I'll be heading home myself, you tell the officer. He looks very concerned that you said that. Ma'am, are you absolutely sure about this? He then says. I'm offering this for your own safety. I mean it. You can tell he cares, but you're determined to get home as soon as possible. I'm really sorry, but I have to get home now, you tell the officer. The officer looks you up and down before proceeding as, Do you at least have a weapon on you for self-defense? I do. You show the officer your pocket knife. He looks very relieved. Oh, thank God. That's good, at least, he says with a sigh of relief. All right, best be on your way then, ma'am. You be safe now. Before long, he gets called away by one of his colleagues, and you decide to head home through the road in the forest. Slowly but surely, you make your way through the forest. After a short amount of time, you feel your stomach drop. Someone or something is following you. You pick up the pace. Eventually, you become so filled with fear, you start running. After bleh, running for a short while, you have two choices. Oh, it's one of those. Um, left. Take a left. After running for what felt like an eternity, you're met with another choice of roads. You take another left or take a right this time. I want to take another left, but if I have another direction, I want to go right. Otherwise, I'm just going to go in a circle. Eventually, you reach an old cabin. The lights are off, but that doesn't stop you banging on the door asking for help. Shit, you say trembling. Or, I'm sorry. Shit. There's no response. You decide to force your way inside, closing the door behind you. It is dark, dilapidated, and doesn't look like anyone has been here in years. I should be safe here, you think to yourself. You decide to keep your flashlight off so as not to be seen by the killer. Suddenly, you hear the wooden boards from outside creak with the heavy footsteps of the killer. You hold your breath, trying not to make a sound. The door begins to open. As the door opens, you swing your knife frantically, cutting the face of the killer. It's not the killer, is it? They don't make a noise. You stand back, surprised, backing up against the wall. Bumping your back against the wall, out of shock, you drop the knife. Slowly, they walk towards you, not saying a word. The moon breaking through the window lights up the fresh cut across her face, illuminating them for a split second. You know this person. Thinking you scared the police, huh, miss? They murder? You're the bouncer from before. Was it a fake knife? Was that it? He smiles, silently staring at you before slamming the entire width of his machete into your neck. The life drains from your eyes as you become another one of his victims. Ending. Killing indoors. Yikes. That was brutal. You were close, but it wasn't enough. You let her die this way. You let her die this way. Fortunately for you, in turn, protagonist, this isn't the actual ending she went through. Perhaps a different route might serve you well. You and I was sent back to the beginning. <laughs> Good luck. 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and call that here. I want to thank you all so much for coming in today. As you see underneath me, I'm on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. Follow me on those platforms. I do go live occasionally. Right now, I'm prioritizing Twitch, although I might start dual streaming again. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much, and y'all have a good one.